In today's tutorial, we will discuss the reaction of phenylmagnesium bromide, a Grignard reagent, with this ketone having a tertiary butyl group which is shielding one side of the ring. The phenylmagnesium bromide as the nucleophile will avoid contact to that bulky group and will attack from the other side of the ring, in this case then from behind the whiteboard. And after cautious hydrolysis, the result should be the tertiary alcohol on the same side as the tertiary butyl group and the phenyl group trans to it. This is of course the standard and also nice explanation for the diastereoselectivity of this reaction. But is this really true? Is this already the whole story? Let us have a look at uh, the conformation of our starting material. We have therefore, we have to draw a chair conformation with the carbonyl group here and let us also draw some of the axial hydrogens. Without an additional substituent, the nucleophile will certainly attack from this side. Here we have far more room compared to this side of the molecule and moreover the, from a geometrical point of view, the attack should proceed perpendicular, that means in an angle of 90 degrees to the double bond, but since we have a negative charge, negative partial charge at the oxygen, and also the phenyl group, the nucleophile, is uh, negatively polarized. The negative charges will try to avoid each other and instead of a 90 degrees attack 100, 107 degrees attack is, well, the compromise. And this angle is called the burgi dunitz angle. Here, from attacking from this side, <coughs> those hydrogens are not a problem. But if the trajectory would come from um, under this roof-like setup, then those hydrogens are inhibiting this trajectory. Well, let us see how does it look like if we have that tertiary butyl group in this molecule. Should be located, of course, on an equatorial position, avoiding the 1-3 diaxial interaction. And as you see, well, here we have the ring and approximately, because it's in an equatorial position, the tertiary butyl group is um, yeah, on the side of the ring 
and not above the ring. So that means the influence of the tertiary butyl group is not as profound as the influence of those axial hydrogens. So, if now the phenyl group attacks from this side with the Birgi Donitz angle, what will be the result? The phenyl group in equatorial position, the tertiary butyl group also, and therefore with those two large groups both in equatorial position, this diastereoisomer is certainly not only the kinetically favored product, but also the thermodynamically favored one. By the way, this structure translates is identical with this one. Thanks for listening.